Hi guys, welcome to all. And in this video, we are going to see another important concept in NumPy called a slicing operation. Okay. Before that, going to see about coding concept. Let me introduce you some of the key points now. So the first point is like to read to single value, we use indexing. In the same way, to read to collection of value or subset of data from matrices or one-dimensional arrays, we use slicing operations. Okay. So while well, discussing about the general format in one-dimensional array. We have to mention like array name, starting index, ending index, and also step size. And starting is like inclusive, that means we included the starting index. And whereas ending is exclusive, that means we do, we don't include the ending index in the final output. Okay. And the step size is the difference between indices. Okay. And default value is one. So let's go and do all the coding concepts now. Before that, uh, we want to import the NumPy package using import keyword. Let me execute it guys. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see about accessing in one dimensional array. Before that, let me show you one or one example using pictorial representation. Okay. Now you can see one array, right? One dimensional array. One consisting of element 1, 4, 7, 11, 6 and 3. So we'll consider the positive indexing. It starts from 0 to n minus 1. We'll consider the board negative indexing. It starts from minus 1 to n. Okay. And it starts from last of the element. Yeah, you can see right minus one minus two minus three. Yeah, so if I want to access only one element like a seven I can specify like a of two or a of minus four. Okay, now let's go and see some of the examples here So first let me construct a one dimensional array by using np dot array with elements like one four seven eleven six and three as shown above Let me execute it guys. Yeah, you can see right the numpy array is printed uh, data type is showing numpy dot nd array so okay like do all the examples in the task wise okay the first task is let's get elements 4 7 11 from array a okay now let me show you how you can do that here i need to specify the starting index ending index and also step side so from the parent array you can see right 4 we can get, we can now we want to get the index of 4 you can see right the index of 4 is one so same i have specified here one and uh, 11 11 is presented 0 1 2 3 now i want to give 4 because uh, the ending index is exclusive that is it is not included okay now step size is one okay to get much clarity i can execute it now yeah you can see right i have done like 4 7 11 now let me do the task 2 so in the task 2 i want to generate the, uh, the first three elements okay like means 1 4 7 from array a so here the starting index is 0 the ending index is 4 that means 0 1 2 3 okay yeah so the step size is 1 let me execute it guys yeah you can see right our task is uh, accomplished now by using like starting ending and step size okay let me give you some notes here like uh, there are mainly three points now if you skip the starting then the slice array starts from zero index okay this is the default value and if you skip the end, uh, ending index then slice uh, slicing array uh, goes to lost index okay if you skip the, the step size then default value is one always keep this in mind guys so that uh, we don't want to mention every time like starting index and ending index whenever it is not necessary Okay, let me introduce you some of the examples so that you will get much clarity. Okay, so the first uh, task I want to do is like accessing first three elements. So I know that we want to access first three elements. So I can do it do it in two ways. Like I can mention like zero uh, starting index and ending index. Or uh, like if I execute it, see what we'll get. Yeah, you can see right the first three elements are one, four, seven. If I uh, do if I don't mention zero also, it will print the same output. Okay, yeah, you can see right yeah so this is one of the uh, one of the key point okay let me show you another example let's get all elements from second index uh, to the, up to last one so i can do like two two i can leave the index because the numpy uh, package only determines the uh, last index okay let me print it guys you can see right the elements have printed 7 11 6 and 3 from second index to last elements okay now let's print with the step size of 2. So let's see one example what will happen if we specify step size of 2. Okay. Yeah. Let me print. 
and also I can show you like what is the parent array. Yeah, you can see right the first element is printed one and we can have like esca escaping of four and again seven and escaping of eleven and again we have printed six. Now escape the three elements. That means every time it is uh, jumping two positions. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You got much clarity, right? So with all this, let me introduce another thing. So this is also one of the important guys. Yeah. If you want to get all elements, you can use this format, like specifying zero index as null. Like we don't want to mention zero index and also ending index and also step size. If you if you provide like this, we can get all elements. Yeah. You can see it, right? Yeah, with all this you can get got a much clarity about how to do in the uh, slicing operation how to print all elements and how we can change the step size. So with all this let's go into do how we can perform two dimensional arrays. Okay, so this is like a sample array where we have 4, 7, 11, 6, 13, 9 elements and respectively. Okay, and these are like uh, rows and these are like columns. Okay, so here we have positive indexing. Uh, and we have negative indexing in the right side okay yeah let's go and do small small uh, coding concepts so that you can get much clarity okay let me i am creating one uh, numpy array by using elements like uh, shown above in the pictorial representation i am printing the data type 2 so you can see right the matrix is printed with the data type of uh, numpy dot nd array okay just as this is all how we can uh, the general format in one dimensional array let me show you what is like a uh, general format in two dimensional array so first of all we have to mention the row name and the second one is uh, uh, we have to mention array name and again we have to mention row format and column format okay so uh, here row format means we have to mention the starting row index ending row index and step size and column format is like Starting, col uh, starting column index, ending column index and step size. Here a uh, same uh, step size is optional and default value is 1. Okay. Now let's see one of the examples uh, example so that you can get much clarity. Okay. So in the first uh, task, let, uh, let's get ele all elements like uh, 9 and 100. So this is our uh, parent number array, right? So I want to access 9 and 100. Let me show you how we can do that. Okay. So here 9 is presented row index 1 and 100, 100 is presented row index 2. Okay. And 9 is presented uh, column index 2 and 10 is presented column index 2. Okay. And like oh, I am uh, specifying only the index of where 900 and 100 are presenting. Okay. Yeah. So here I am mentioning the row values. Okay. Uh, row value, uh, row starting index, row ending index and step size. And here. Uh, column starting index, calling, uh, column ending index and also step size. Let me print it guys so that you can get what it what happening here exactly. Okay, you can see right our task is accomplished by using uh, these steps what I have mentioned here. Okay. Now in the task 2 let get subarray like 6, 13, 2, 12. Okay. Now here the starting index uh, row index is 1 and ending index here is 3. Okay. And the step size is 1. Well, uh, corresponding to columns, I want to specify the starting column as 0 and ending column as 2 and step size as 1. Okay, let me execute it, guys. Yeah, you can see, right? 6, 13, 2, 12. So, always keep in mind, like, here 4, 7, 11 are 0 index, 6, 13, 9 are first index, 2, 12, 100 are second index with corresponding to rows. Okay, in the same way, select columns also. So you want to mention what is the respective column index and uh, row index in the uh, for given format. Okay. Yeah. If you want to print all elements in the matrix, just like as we have done in one dimensional array, you have to mention like this. Okay. This is the general format for printing all elements. Yeah. You can see that right? all elements are printed now. So, okay. You got much clarity right about how we are doing in two dimensional arrays. Yeah, always keep this pictorial representation in mind and the way how you are indexing to do slicing operation. Okay, so with all this, let's go and do how we can perform in three dimensional arrays. Yeah, here we want to give three like uh, i, j, k values. Here, array name, we want to mention the numpy array name and the matrix format and row format and column format. As the number of dimension goes on increasing and we, uh, the number of formatting also increases here. Okay. And uh, matrix format we want to spe uh, specify like, like a starting index, ending index, and step size. 
and same like for row format and column format too and here step is optional and default value is 1 so let me create one three dimensional array using the values uh, given here by using np.array and let me execute it guys yeah so you can see right the, this is the first matrix okay and this is the second matrix and here we can see the shapes right they are uh, presenting two matrices and two rows and three columns okay and let's do some of the simple tasks so that you can get much clarity so as we have done like accessing all elements in one dimension and two dimension in the same way we can do in three dimensional this is the general format to do this thing okay yeah you, we can access all the elements right okay now in the task 2 let's slice only first only first matrix in the three dimensional array that means i want to get only this one okay this matrix only i want to get so how i can do that you can know that, right uh, in the first formatting place specify two uh, matrix numbers and this is for call uh, rows numbers and this is for column numbers okay if i want to get only uh, like first matrix i want to sp uh, specify like starting index as 0 and ending as 1 because 1 is exclusive and not been included okay let me print it guys yeah you can see right i have accessed the only first matrix okay here one is uh, exclusive that means it is it will not included in the first index matrix okay in the task tree let me get the zeroth column in the matrix okay uh, here i can do that by using this one i want uh, uh, every matrix and i want uh, all rows but i want only zeroth column okay i can do this here i am changing only in the zeroth column and uh, getting all the elements present in other places let me execute it guys yeah you can see right i have got all this column zeroth column yeah a uh, small statement here here you want uh, all two matrices so you use the notation this one and specifying every matrix and all rows present but only zeroth column and one is inclusive here okay sorry this one is exclusive here okay you got it much clarity right and we have seen how we can do in two dimensional array three dimensional array and also in one dimensional array always keep this uh, like indexing how we are doing indexing so that we can the slicing can be done easily okay thank you guys thanks for your time